Hi students, I'll try in this educational video to technologically introduce the steel column resistance at the ultimate limit state criterion associated to Backlin, of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Well, based on the Eurocard 3 standards associated to the European standards 1993, the Backlin ultimate limit state criterion is expressed as NED which is the design compression force divided by NBRD which is the design backland resistance of the compression member is lower than 1. This means that the design compression force should not exceed the design backland resistance of the compression member. As I explained in a previous video, the design compression force NED can be simply seen as the maximum normal force applied on the column. Now for the design buckling resistance of the compression member NBRD, it's determined based on the table that you see now in this slide. And as you can notice, it depends on the cross section class. For uh, the cross section classes 1, 2, and 3, the design buckling resistance of the compression member MBRD is expressed as the reduction factor chi multiplied by the cross section area A multiplied by the steel yield stress Fy divided by gamma M1. Gamma M1 is equal to 1. The steel yield stress is determined based on the steel grade and the thickness, as I explained in a previous video. And we will explain how to determine the reduction factor. Before that, you can notice that for the cross-section class number 4, we use the effective cross-section area A effective instead of the cross-section area A. This is expected since uh, we use the effective properties of the cross-section when dealing with a cross-section class number 4. Now I will explain how to determine the reduction factor. Uh, it's determined always based on the Eurocard 3 standards associated to the European standards 1993 based on the formula that you see now in this slide. Of course, chi is the reduction factor. You can notice that we have to determine first uh, phi and uh, the slenderness lambda bar in order to determine the reduction factor chi. Phi is determined by the formula that you see in the right of this slide in function of the imperfection factor alpha and the slenderness lambda bar. The imperfection factor alpha is determined depending on the buckling curve and the buckling curve is determined using the table that you see in the bottom of this slide uh, depending on the cross section, uh, the dimensional limits and the buckling axis. Well, after determining the imperfection factor alpha, we have to determine the slenderness lambda bar in order to determine phi and uh, determine finally the reduction factor chi. So the question is how to determine lambda bar? Well, the slenderness lambda bar is determined based on the table that you see now in this slide. And as you can notice, it depends on the cross section class and here for the cross-section classes number 1, 2, and 3, the slenderness lambda bar is expressed as the square root of the cross-section A multiplied by the steel yield stress Fy divided by NCR. And you can notice also that we use uh, the effective cross-section area when dealing with the cross-section class number 4. NCR is determined by the formula that you see now in this slide and the effective length LCR is determined depending on the end restraints uh, as it is depicted by the table that you see in the bottom of this slide. This educational video takes end. If you have any remarks, suggestions or questions, please mention it in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.